if you're doing anything in business, you probably need a graph, a chart somewhere. Uh, you know, what's your sales per month, sales per region, sales per person? Uh, go on and on. You know, how many tweets per second are coming in at Twitter? You know, how many? What's the wait times and lines at Disney World? I can think of a thousand places I need a chart, and I need it to be live and hooked up to a real database. Well, Chartio is doing all that, and uh, we're going to find out all about the world of charts right now. Who are you? Uh, I'm Dave Fowler. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Chartio. Um, I came from Minnesota, originally from, uh, but I've lived out here for about five years. I went to undergrad for physics and grad school for electrical engineering and then worked at IBM on the uh, Xbox 360 for a number of years. Uh, and then I got accepted into Y Combinator and, and flew out here and, and started doing startups. Um, and. Uh, Done a, done a couple of them and, and now uh, focused on Chartio and, and, and focused on bringing uh, uh, data insights and, and data literacy uh, to, to a whole bunch of different companies. So. Why would an electrical engineer make a charting company? That's what <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually, uh, it's kind of interesting. When I was a young kid, uh, my mom taught me how to code when I was 11 and she worked at Unisys and, and it, everyone there had their 25 year plaque and it, it just seemed like a miserable place to work and, and everyone was unhappy. So I always thought like software was a terrible industry to go into, but I loved it as a kid. And so I did physics in undergrad and then I turned, I still like coding more than anything. And, and so I went into electrical engineering uh, to kind of bridge the gap. But in the end, it turned out I still just really loved programming and software. And, and uh, thanks to like San Francisco, like it's, it's, it's more fun to be a software engineer. You can do a lot more than, than just sit in a cubicle for 25 years. So, so why do we need a company to do charts? What, yeah. Great question. Uh, so. You know, a lot of people try to build their own dashboards internally, and it, it, because it's such an important part of your company, you need to see what's going on. You need to, all your data is being stored in your database or other data sources all over. It's important to see what's going on. And uh, if you try to build it yourself, sometimes you know you can make something in a couple of days or a couple of weeks, uh, but it's something that you have to maintain. And when you want to add to it, when you want to get more insights out. Uh, and you always have more questions with your business, um, then you have to go in there and manually make these charts. It'll take two hours. If you get something where you have a nice chart creator, and, and we spend a lot of time on the UI and making a really easy to create uh, chart creator, um, uh, where, where making new charts it just takes a couple of seconds, and then you can iterate and pivot on these charts, uh, that makes such a big difference in, in the friction of seeing your data. That, that we, we always say we have interesting board meetings uh, in that we can sit down and ask questions like, where are people getting stuck in the funnel? And, and we can actually, well, let's check it out. And we actually make a chart and say, like, you know, if people have a question, like, are, are, are they getting confused by this feature? And we can say, well, let's see how many people do that feature. And we answer the question right at that table instead of saying, well, let's have a group investigate that for two weeks. Um, and so just that, that speed of being able to see your charts and your, and your data and your dashboards are so important. Um, they should be a major focus of your company, but who has time to build it themselves, you know? Yeah. You should be focusing on your own application, and, and let us, that, that's what we do, we focus on that. Let us make a really great tool for you to use and, and add a fraction of the cost. Yeah, so. when I visit m many startups now, I see, I call them data porn walls. Yeah. I guess you call them dashboards, right? Right. There's like <laughs> six L big LEDs on, right. on, in the middle of the office where everybody can see what's going on with servers and what's going on with the business and stuff like that. Is that what, you, what you're hoping that people do with so, Chardio? Yeah, a lot of our users put us on TVs, uh, definitely. Uh, some of the products you see out there are, are really flashy and like neon and, and they're, they're moving all the time. And, uh, they're cool, like fun widgets that people passing by will, will be like, oh, that's really cool that you kind of watch that a little bit. Um, but they also take a long time to program the ones out there. And, and, and Chartio is, is, is meant for TVs, but it's also meant to be on your computer, something you check every day um, uh, just on your own. And it sends you email notifications of, of the charts that you see. Um, but, but we really think we focus on the important metrics, the things that are in your database, the number of sales you have, your inventory, uh, the engagement your customers are having. And it's less operational. It tends to be these porn walls tend to be more operational, like how many people are on the site right now. And it's more analytical that, that we focus on uh, and, and be able to create those charts and asking questions of, of your data rather than just seeing the same charts uh, day over day. Yeah, your charts aren't just a, a standard, you know, turn a, a grid into a chart you know, like you can with Google Docs, right? right. Tell me, walk me through creating a chart and what I would actually see on the UI. Yeah, so, so in Chartio, uh, you, you first start with a kind of a dashboard and you, and you add charts to it. Uh, and when you're adding a chart, what we do actually when we connect to a database, 
what we do is we pull out the schema of your database, so what tables and columns are in your database. And we display that to you on the left sidebar of the chart creator. And you simply drag which columns you want to chart. If you want a date on the x-axis, and you want a number of sales on the y-axis, you just drag these over. And we automatically write the query under the hood. And we run this query on your database. Um, so it comes back with the most instantaneous live results. And then that data that comes back, we, we, we format for you. And we let you choose which type of chart you want to plot it in, a line chart, a bar chart, area chart, uh, scatter plot, sometimes just tables, like w whatever type of uh, chart you desire. And then you can keep iterating on that, um, splitting it out by different regions or, or sales product categories, uh, whatever, whatever the data is showing that you have. Uh, so, so we make it really easy. And under the hood, again, we're just creating the SQL. We're running it on your database. So it, it, it's very lightweight but very powerful. Uh, it's, it's like if you were building it yourself, that's how you'd build it. you build a web application that runs these queries, um, but, but we do that for you. And, and different than a, than a table, like you asked, um, you know, usually in a spreadsheet, you already have that data. Somebody already queried it for yep. you, and then you can make a chart, and that's pretty easy. And if you're just working with CSV data, um, then you should probably just still use Excel or something. But, but when you're actually constructing queries to actually get that data, we think that's kind of the harder part. And so that's how we differentiate from, from a product like that. And you can uh, edit the queries and, and yeah. it'll like edit the, what you see on the UI. Yeah, you can either use our, our UI to create the queries, or you can also, if you're an engineer, uh, they like to go into and, and actually write their own custom SQL. Uh, sometimes you have like pretty advanced nested queries uh, that, that you want to do, and it just doesn't make sense to build all that in the UI. Um, and, but, but we give you all the flexibility you want uh, by, by going in and writing your own custom query. It's really, really cool. Can you drill in on a chart too? Uh, tell me what, yeah, what so, else you can do. So uh, we have a big philosophy that you know, charts shouldn't just be static. Like, like if they're on a TV, they're kind of just static. It shows you the same thing. And really, uh, when you see a chart, you usually uh, are told an answer, but then that answer usually makes you ask other questions. And so we, we try to make very interactive dashboards. So when you come to the dashboard where you save your charts eventually, uh, you can actually click on the different bars or, or lines in the chart. And it'll actually zoom you in automatically. We, we, we rewrite the query to be zoomed in on that date range or, or, or whatever range. And then you can choose to pivot uh, by, uh, by other columns in the database uh, if you want to you know, uh, display it in, in a different way. Uh, and you can continually drill down. And you can drill actually drill down all the way to the bottom where you see like the raw columns where you say, OK, I've just drilled down to this particular day in this particular product category. And here are the actual the table of the actual uh, five sales that we got in, in, on that day in that product category. Uh, so we think that's really cool that you can just really drill down. And we really think of ourselves as you know, a very human interface to databases. Like There's so much gold in your database. Yeah. And, and we are just thinking of ways to make it uh, just really uh, easy and lightweight for anyone, whether you're technical or not, to be able to drill down and have a feel and a sense for what's going on in the database. I, I was just thinking if I was wor working at Walmart and that, um, you know, that I would want to see sales per day, sales per store, sales per region, sales per whatever. Exactly. But if the sales went down for some reason, I'd want to start thinking about why did it go down. You know, so could I hook up databases like from weather.com or something to show uh, Different, different data that's coming in from externally. Yeah, know? exactly. You know, Walmart has an amazing data team, and, and they do stuff like that where they, where they get data from all over the place. Because um, maybe the weather, you know, the weather kept people from going to the store. So right. I, or, but I what would want to see. Or it sells that. more rain boots when it's raining, and it makes sense. Like if you yeah. didn't sell any rain boots, well, it was a drought season, so you, you know that stuff. Um, but exactly. So we let you plug in data sources from all over. Uh, we're we're launching more all the time. Uh, we connect to most. Uh, SQL-based data sources. We also connect to Google Analytics, and, and we're announcing uh, right now, actually, that uh, we are releasing Salesforce support. So actually, all your sales leads and, and the workflow and, uh, that, that goes through your Salesforce uh, can, be, can be much easier uh, plotted in Chartio. And, and the great thing is, one, we have real-time uh, charts where the Salesforce data only updates once a day. Um, two, it's, very, it's a lot easier to make these charts than it is in Salesforce. And, and three, you can plot it right next to your database data. So um, the sales that Salesforce is recording and then the sales that are actually being recorded in your database um, get, get mapped up. And you're, you can also see your inventory next to it, for example. Uh, so all kinds of things uh, w will be possible now that we have Salesforce combined with your database data. Very cool. So. Um, what else do I need to know about the world of the charting? Because it, it sounds like a, a lot of fun to play with this stuff. 
Yeah, uh, we really love working working on it. Like a lot of the people in my team uh, c come from uh, other engineering companies like Splunk and uh, data companies uh, and and other companies where they've including Twitter where where they built these systems internally in their company and they get really excited about the fact that we're going to build an even better one and we're going to give it to everybody uh, so that people stop making their own uh, and start just make, using a better one um, because people don't really care how it was built or where it was built they just want to be able to use it really well um, so so we really focus on that design and, and, and the usability and keeping it simple and then making it so that uh, everyone can use it um, so and we'll just keep working hard at that. It seems like it's a good business to be in because because of sensors, because of data. Yeah. You know, we, we all need new ways to see things in our lives, right? So we really be believe uh, at Chartio um, that, that data literacy is just expanding enormously. Uh, 20, 30 years ago, you know, barely anyone used computers or knew how. Uh, it, you know, it wasn't as common. And today, it's just like the computer literacy is huge. Everyone uses it for their job. And uh, we think that you know, over the next 10, 20 years as well, everyone will start having more data uh, as part of their job. Like you know, how many followers you're getting, how many views on, on these videos you're getting, uh, and, and figuring out like, what you can do to make that more active and, and make your users more engaged. Um, I'm thinking like if you're running the San Francisco Giants, you want to know how many beers per hour you're selling, exactly. which, which stands are the most pr profitable for you, you know, right. so you can uh, and get, so maybe get more help there. You know? Companies are becoming more and more data driven and there's all this talk about there being a, a, a lack of data scientists. Um, and, and we really think that, that there needs to be more data science, but also that ev everyone in the company will just become more like data oriented. That, that they can at least do the minimal of reading these graphs and making decisions off the charts and, and kind of knowing what questions they should ask um, you know, to be able to sell more beers or something at the stadium. Uh, and, and we think the bottleneck in that is, is the tools available. There just isn't like that Excel. Excel has done like so much for the, the expansion of computers and, and uh, data munching and stuff like that. Um, but when you're talking about databases, Excel doesn't do that great. And, and when we're talking about bigger data, um, you know, you, you need a product like Charter that helps you write those queries and make the charts uh, and monitor those over time. And, and that's really what we're focused on is that user experience and making it really simple uh, for companies to use and, and people to use. How do, how do you guys get paid? How much does this cost? Yeah, uh, so we start off, uh, we, we tier it based on u number of users and projects. And so we have three plans, one for uh, just a single analyst and a team plan and a company plan. Our price starts at at ninety five dollars for that for that single analyst plan, uh, and then it goes up for their tiered off of a number of projects and number of users. Tell me a little bit about the company. How was it funded? And how many employees? And what, yeah. what's we're, going on? We're eight people right now. Uh, we're based a couple blocks from here in, in South Park, um, and uh, we received a four and a half million dollar Series A from Avalon Ventures about a year ago. Um, but uh, we haven't spent a lot on that, and we're already like ramping up towards profitability. Uh, as I said, we launched. Uh, a couple of months ago, but we were actually growing 30% month over month for about six to eight months now. Uh, so our, our growth is doing really great. Um, we're, we, we're very happy with it. And, and we just continue to grow our team and, and the product and, and our company. So. Very cool. Yeah. Where do we uh, learn more about it? Uh, Chartio.com. Yeah. It's chart.io or chartio.com? So we used to be chart.io and, yep. and now we switched to chartio.com. Uh, it seems like every startup these days has a .io. I, I bought chartio.com chart.io and chartio.com at the same time about three years ago. And, and we've recently just switched over to the .com just to uh, be a little bit more big business friendly and, and, and look a little less startup-y, I guess. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming out and showing it to me. It's really awesome. Thank you. Really Thank you so much it. for yeah. what you're doing for developers. Thank you.